Hello there again, this is Erica Swarthy Daisy. I wanted to bring you an update on 23andMe. This time I had a male cousin tested because we wanted to find out through the Y lineage how far we can trace back to Africa. And this is an ongoing project, of course. But this male cousin is actually on my maternal side. So he is my mother's first cousin, my second cousin, and we share grandparents in common, of course. And my grandmother, so my mom's mom, and his father were brother and sister so we were figuring we want to find out more about the brown family size so we decided to use this cousin so as you see on the screen my cousin's father his father and his father so we went back one two three generations or so so this is an ongoing project like i said but i want to show you some of the results that we acquired through testing with 23andme so as you see here on the screen, we have the ancestry composition and on the map, the sub-regional map view, we see that my cousin tested as 94.9% Sub-Saharan Africa, 90% West African, 1.7% Central and South African, 0.7% East African, 2.5% broadly Sub-Saharan African. You can see the European breakdown, 2.8%. Uh, Northern, there's 1.3 British and Irish, 0.4 broadly Northern European. As far as Southern European, they have 0.2% broadly Southern European and 0.9% broadly European. And if you continue on down, you see the East Asian breakdown. Uh, it's the East Asian and Native American, which is 1.4%. South East Asian 0.8%, 0.5% Native American, 0.1% broadly East Asian and Native American. So his total uh, 100, it's only 1% on a side, but 100% of his breakdown is displayed here on the screen. Now, as we take a look at the paternal line, he tested E1, B1, A7A, and according to 23andMe, uh, the locations of this haplogroup, uh, E1, B1, A, was circa 500 years ago before the era of intercontinental travel. And we see um, it's a 2,000-year-old lineage or genes that go back that far, of course, on the paternal side in Africa. In the example of populations, it shows Bantu speakers and African Americans. So it says E1B1Y, I'm sorry, E1B1A is the most common Y chromosome haplogroup among African American men. So of course this was something that was totally expected, but we were definitely trying to look more at what parts of Africa uh, the DNA could be traced to. Now looking at the maternal side, he tested L1C1C apostrophe D. So it's a subgroup of L1C. And of course, this haplogroup is circa 500 years ago before the era of intercontinental travel. And again, um, this is his maternal side. The, it goes back 60,000 60, years in Africa, of course, from Central Africa. The example populations, it says the Bacola and Biaka, and it reaches levels of 100% among some African pygmy groups. So maybe that will explain some of the height um, that some of our cousins have. But of course, this is on his maternal side. So, um, but within his immediate family, with that influence, it does show that you know some of our cousins are a little shorter in stature stature so maybe that's the result of that now this last bit of information shows the relatives that are found on 23andme and i think this is such a cool feature because it gives you the last names of individuals or, or last names of families that you're closely related to and it shows you whether they're your first, second, third, fourth, or fifth cousin. And here we have names such as Jones and Thomas and Brown, Williams, Coleman, Robinson, Reed, White, Smith, Allen, Johnson, Wright, Moore, Hall, Lewis, Davis, and Wilson.
So, of course, on the side that um, the cousin that we tested here and I are on, we're definitely on the brown side. So we have that name listed. And as I'm doing more and more research, I'm finding the name Wilson starting to have a commonality as well. But I don't know. That's something we'll have to definitely continue to research. So we are researching. We're sharing genomes with other 23andMe members that are coming up as cousins so that we'll find this common match. And what I'm doing, in addition to using my own account, and of course you can watch the video for that uh, here on YouTube, but... On my own 23andMe account, I've taken the information and gone to places like GetMatch.com as well as Ancestry to try to find out ways that we can continue to look back and make connections within the family. So thank you guys so much for watching. And again, this is Erica Swarley Daisy. Make sure to check out my other videos on my 23andMe journey. Take care.